Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 41 plus 9 plus 1, so 51. Yep, session 51. It's the 27th of April 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, I believe. And uh, here are. Are they? I believe. And here are the players. Hello, I'm Nico. I'm playing Zora. I think. Am I? Yeah, Zora. Zora the best card. You cheat on the RP wise? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Could also be Nico. Mm. My name is Conan. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that voice. It's None of us know. I don't like it. I don't care for it anymore. Uh, hi, I'm Colin, and I, uh, I, I believe, think, uh, understand, and accept, and expect, and intend to be, and content that I am playing like Oquin. I believe in a thing called love. I believe. Hi, I'm Alex. Until moments ago, I thought that I was the GM. <laughs> this is not the case. Uh, instead, I now know only that I know nothing. Seeing as that was the one thing I knew. Uh, and I am playing Nick 5 Ooh. replacement. Ooh. Weird. The Android oh. mechanic. <laughs> No one noticed. It's fine. None of us noticed. <laughs> I didn't, didn't notice. Didn't notice. I don't know. What What were we noticing? Hi there. I'm Cal. Brian, can you tell the editor to remove that in post, please? Yeah. Everything's getting fixed in post. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Just Hi there, I'm, I'm, Callum. Callum. I'm Callum, and 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 I I I will be playing Zig, the mystical spacecraft right. from the sun. Uh... Hi. So in three, two, welcome to Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity, <laughs> session fifty-one. <laughs> I am Brian, the GM. It's the twenty-seventh of April, twenty twenty. Here are the players. My intro was perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still go with the first attempt. It's always better to just go with the first attempt. No <laughs> right? That's what I see in the film industry anyway. Oh, I feel attacked. <laughs> oh, if you do, I guess roll initiative, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, fuck that. Um, let's just go to if he remembers what happened last time, I guess. What did happen last time? That's, what um, the, that's the question. You, you can't just turn it well, back on me that I, way. <laughs> me, me and Lyco were on a shuttle. True. For a long time. And we were time. about to be on a shuttle afterwards. Yeah, we were He's... about to be on a shuttle again, yes. And we need to remind uh, CC to fucking do the thing. CC. Get in touch with the ship. Yeah. I'm doing that right now because I need to <laughs> remind myself to do it. It is important. <laughs> or some sort of koala or something like that. Yeah, we spoke to like a six arm koala. <laughs> um, it was the fuck alien koala. In the film. <laughs> That was a war criminal. Yeah. And quite frankly, I felt Australian at that point in time. It's just <laughs> like <laughs> fucking qual. Let's see your new character. Whoever you play, Nico. Oh, I see that's good work. I like that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he was a scatterbander. He was very, and this might surprise you, skittish. Mm. Yeah, he was fucking extremely skittish. And a little bit mandy. Mm. Yeah. He fucking bit me. Rapid. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. And anything else? Fucking rabbit. <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis. Uh, what? He can walk on glass with no shoes. Michael Rennie was there on the day the earth stood still. Anybody else remember anything else from last time? <laughs> Sorry. Took the uh, Queenie to hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, gave uh, some blood. Yep. His own. Yeah. My own, yes. Sparks made a reappearance. That was lovely. Sparks yeah, did yeah I, I might have made him more crazy. <laughs> yep. Um, he blew out one of his eyes, so that's something. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't the intention, but... Probably wasn't his eyes, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Um... I don't. Uh, what else happened? We did a bit of an explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, we did some investor noodle gating. Yeah. We did. Mm, noodle gate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did, did well at socializing. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Yeah, um, we're getting a lot more about which basically consists of uh, of consisted of Zig going ah we'll speak to this person. I don't speak this language. 
and then weird and that person having a conversation without like, knowing what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Dr. Nazmikek looked made a reappearance as well. Yep, it was oh, nice yes. to see him again, except I didn't see him, but they did. Yep, the fan favourite, obviously. The old None the wiser. What about the what, Nico? None the uh, wiser. Uh, or were you talking to... I don't know what you said. This is going well. <laughs> we're repeated. We're both repeated. We have done more jobs. And here we are, repeating. We've covered all the bases. <laughs> Welcome to Starfinder. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome Starfinder, the favourite of the turn two, Second session 51. <laughs> <laughs> you well, you have the time. Um, <laughs> so listen to me. We don't want that. Uh, Nico. We do. I want what were you trying to say? Um, I've forgotten how to Yeah, Naz Yeah, forgot Naz. Naz is what I said. Be Naz. Uh, it's because you were away over at the other side of the planet. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I was on a show. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yep, yep. And uh, we also had ten. So we were distracted mm -hmm. and absent. Yes. Uh, was that everything? Let's think. I think it might have. We been had a, a explicit confirmation that uh, nuclear power does badness in dark brain elf heads. So the pre gap reactor that is like the whole city of Daza, essentially. Um, seems to affect the Dark Elves in a weird, aggressive way. Yes. Yeah, and hence the pits. Yes, and the fighting pits were apparently Dark Elves. Yeah, the fighting pits. It would just be like, oh, it's the pits! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh man, Daz is the pits! That's a thing. I mean, hey, I mean, if depends on where it's mood, but you might be able to then make some money off some fights if you put the Queen in, right? You, that would be probably rude. It's yeah. a form of income, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's, a, there's a nice segue, right? Look at that, that perfect suitable. segue into the goals. Do we all agree on it? That was the, that was a stipulation for suitable. <laughs> so, goals. Talk me through the goals, everybody. Goal one. Is it still it something suitable. we can progress with? Yeah. Goal one. Find a suitable source of income. Well, I would be against putting the queen... So, Johnny, oh. I apologise. I have been working today, honestly. I know it's Corona Rona uh, 66, but uh, it's also a time where some people are actually doing things. Uh, anyway, um, humble brag, except not humble brag. No yeah. shade. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm an NHS marker. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I was manning a fucking hotline for important <laughs> local support stuff, right? And it sucks. I hate being a call. And, oh yeah, yeah. There you go. This is a, we're dumping a bit of our character knowledge. About Welcome calling. to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, <laughs> session fifty-one. I don't think it's I, a simple uh... source of income, uh, and I'm referring both to working <laughs> as a call handler and also uh, to making dark elves fight in the pits. Nice job. Yeah, moral equivalent. Yeah. Krugar just cut cut all this out. It's all good. Okay. Okay. Who's okay. Krugar? Did we get rid of Jeff? Did he die? <laughs> And um, we we don't talk about Jeff anymore. Okay, Jeffs. I don't read the chat. Have we been hiring people beyond my knowledge? Do we have a budget? Shh, like what? Shh, don't worry, don't. Just sorry, we Relax, one. just carry on. Run, run your game, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> he does. No one's sure. We'll handle. We'll handle. It's good. It's good. Okay. We'll handle it. <laughs> Got it covered. Post, like. Don't you, you, you? Don't worry. Your pretty little head. It's all good. Why did you hesitate at that? <laughs> anyway, so. Goal one, can it be progressed? Um, but uh, hopefully it's a bit get progressed today. Okay, so you want to possibly eventually? Yeah, if yeah. we are able to do the uh, yeah, okay. of, yeah. um, the Eoxian yeah Eoxian ship goal, or at least make progress in that, then that puts us a step towards okay. income. What about goal two? I think that's been achieved. Uh, the other two are on the other side of the planet. The Queen's locked up. And then <laughs> they go and join Noodles. So, or at least uh, Noodle proximate locations. Like. Yeah. So, no, we'll, we'll see if the Queen warms up to us once we've taken the radiation out of her. Um, yeah. Like, maybe, maybe taken away from the reactor. Yeah, like her not being near Daz is maybe the best course of action for that, right? So, yeah. Or at least us not being near her. Yeah, 
Is it just uh, leaving her there to, chain, to a bed with no What if we put her in a lead? Put her in a what? <laughs> I, I keep losing you. Oh, a space suit? Lead I mean, box. A space oh, suit would work box. great. <laughs> oh, okay, lead box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the lead box, but okay. you can never be too careful. So you think there's progress to be made in goal two every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. I uh, goal today. three, maybe. Well, we've made some solid progress, and I think we can get that knocked out in like the first stint of the. You know, what well, once we're once, you, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, wait, once the, uh, once three. the th yeah. <laughs> depending on the ordering, it might not be the first scene, but you know, once we have our first scene with uh, Inspiracy Craig, then I sort that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And uh, what about Cold Four? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're in pretty, pretty good progress, right? We're going to... Hopefully do it. Okay, if you still think there's progress to be made with that goal four, yeah, sure, good, good. Yep. Goal yeah. five. Yeah, well, we made we made some progress. I think we've definitely got some theory anyway, some theories, mm -hmm. or Zig has some theories anyway. So we're making some progress, whether or not it's actually anywhere near why Edgar. Oh, I never actually read it. Discover why Edgar is slash was an Akaton. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so in review, we've got find a source of income on Akaton, establish healthy boundaries between the party members, get in touch with the final hour and CC, go to Ram sorry, go speak at Ramasethu about contacting Qbob, and mm. discover why Edgar is or was on Akaton. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, let's get stuck in. If we have no other alterations to make. It's good you need that. That's serious, lads. So, mm. we open in space. Final film. And do. we travel from the outside of the solar system in as Octurn is swinging by the camera with its crazy storms <laughs> in its atmosphere. It's definitely... It's active, <coughs> it's alive, it's jumping. If it was a rave, they would be selling tickets, but it's not, so they don't. And um, yeah, it just kind of swings by the camera, often it's lonesome. And then we travel past the rest of the planets, past, you know, Aposte, past uh, Brithida, Leovara. Pass by Triaxis, and you can see that there's obviously a massive dry dock in construction over Triaxis. We pass by the dead world of Eox, through the Diaspora Belt, past the Adari, fucking city ship, past Versus, <laughs> with some interesting activity overhead in the, the form of like a Vesk like fleet, to Akaton, where we pass the Azure flare in orbit, fall all the way down through the clouds, all the way into Daza City, and we focus in on Weird and Zig wandering around. So, what do we see? Uh, apart from oh, an eight foot tall, four armed man carrying a rat. So, you're actually carrying Zig? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I was going to say on my shoulder. I don't know yeah, how you feel. I think like now. once we've done, you know, we've got like maybe to like you know noodle stand twelve, and you know, mm -hmm. be careful years. with him because he's giving blood. <laughs> noodle stand twelve being his actual name. To be fair, keep in mind not, not you've only given a sample of blood. You've not had like yourself. Like you've not given blood. You've given a sample like, to see if it's usable. Me, Callum has given a sample of blood before, right? <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> Zig's tired. <laughs> Uh, any excuse yeah if I ever have a <laughs> meaningful amount of blood taken I always find myself pretty loopy so I relate to that and he's also a small creature and we don't know proportionately if it's you know it might, it might they might need a higher proportion of, of your silky blood to do the test compared to you know by body weight compared to human he, he may have like he may be in his last legs we haven't even had it confirmed how much blood your silky have uh, or how much it costs three <laughs> 
prices for I hope everything. we never find that out. <laughs> well. Can you put a price on you soaking? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just just checking around, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oddly, yes, it's in my table of prices. Um, oh, fuck. But yeah, so... What is the current state of the investigation? Talk me through it. What are we up to? What do we see you doing when we focus back in on you two? Besides Zig being carried by this large entity that is weird. As the theme music plays, I picture Zig being put down, weird talking to another noodle merchant, and then turning around, walking back out of the noodle bar, saying, no news there either. As it starts to rain and some indie music plays. Yep. Yep. I think he would scratch his head. Oh. And be like... Maybe he's... Hiding from... From someone else. As well as us. You mean like the drow that tried to kill him? Things like we kind of just like look at his feet and go, huh? Yeah. So there was something he's yeah. learned about Edgar's time here that I don't know if he's remember from last week. Oof, that's a question, isn't it, Ryan? Isn't it just? He so... was here doing a business with a blonde, blonde hair woman. Woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who may be human, according to the completely accurate show band description of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That actually did slip my mind. Um... Who do we know that's blonde and human? <gasps> Have you checked <sighs> the vaults recently? <laughs> that's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, oh. Uh, earlier by. Earlier, I mean last week. I was like, oh. Um, but I think him. Um, I think Zig would uh, kind of think to himself, kind of out loud, how many blonde-haired humans are there on Akaton? How many humans are on Akaton? Have we paid for internet access? That's a good question. Have you? The captain did. Can we use his login now that he's <laughs> left? <laughs> <laughs> no, and you wouldn't even be able to contact him to ask him without logging in. A fucking scandal. It is. It's yeah. a sham. Imagine the Akaton trying to make money. Yeah. Or they, they specifically they, Daza trying to make money. They make enough selling, you know, not selling his sokies. Yeah. Religious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Selling garbage. <sighs> not hundred percent sure Zig like actually knows how to to hook up to. The... I mean, you have been the mainframe. Almost no time I, I feel like a communicator. <laughs> Yeah. I assume then, like, uh, well, in this case, actually, I was, I was, I was, I was trying to make sure I didn't see an X five, but in this case, it would be appropriate because it would have been an X five that sort of sorted it out for him because, you know, historically, yeah. when he did have one, mm -hmm. yeah, that would have been where it came from. Yep, most likely. But yeah. So, what is the plan? As you just talk to Niddle Stand after Niddle Stand. <laughs> as interesting as it would be to find out the number of humans on Akaton, I don't know that it would help us. There's, there's going to be more than a few. It's like a game of Guess Who at that point, isn't it? You set up the board yeah. and you go, right, okay, so get rid of everybody who isn't human, right? Even though the show bad wasn't specifically... Anyone who is vaguely human. Yeah, right, so... Give it a Sharon. Yep, Sharon go down, right? Uh, and then you go, right, okay, so Asafa, probably. Fe female and blonde, Best. right? Yeah. So you've got likely human ish, female ish, <laughs> blonde ish. And then, were they wearing glasses? We'll never know. We should set up a media company and do a roll call for extras for a film that we are producing. This is the plot to edition. <laughs> That's... We know how that ended, so don't do that, please. I don't know how that ended, by the way. So okay. Badly for the guy. Great film. Watch it. Edition. Okay. Takashi Miki film. It's based on a book uh, by the other Murakami, Ryu. Mm. 
Uh. Uh. But in our game. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Uh. We could. I'm trying to think of any other idea better than that. <laughs> no. yeah. Do you want me to oh, go yeah, back yeah. to you guys then if you don't ever think about it? Would that be easier? Um, I'm enjoying the lack of thinking. <laughs> the lack of ability to find anything. We could wander the streets talking to every blonde person we see. Or anyone with the helmet on. Who might be that blonde. could be blonde. People you can't anyone rule out. The potential yeah. of... Basically yeah. speak to anyone who definitely isn't not, not blonde. blonde. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen this man? Queer! I'll love these two. Where would you go to make anonymous shady business deals? And I don't mean like in a solicitation kind of way. On Akaton in general. And noodle stand. Just Everywhere. Akaton, yeah. Um, um, okay. I think on Akaton in general. No, but like, that's a valid question, right? So let's move us to the Akaton map, right? Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Alright, so on Akaton, right? We've got where you are isn't specifically shady, believe it or not. It's just it's a haven for weirdos, which is Daza. Right? So haven for weirdos. Big problem because radiation induced religious nuts and mutations and you know, craziness. Also seems like some people are using that as a nice cover for where they're operating out of like, say, Bob. Right? He was obviously operating out of Daza because it's convenient. Right? Not many people would go there for tech, weapon tech. Primarily, people would be at Hive Market for that type of shit. So, Hive Market is like the, I guess, the black market of the world. Yeah. But if we're theorizing that he's using Daza to sort of. as a smokescreen. Right. Well, yeah, because you know you can't really locate any sort of big magical being, or perhaps or Magitech, big, uh, right? Magical mm. thing. Because keep in mind, Magitech's obviously quite lucrative in the trade, and we're better to hide a big stock of it under the umbrella of the massive radio, like the reactor bubble, right? Um. You know what I'm going to suggest, right? I don't know. Well, we'll find out hopefully in the next 10 seconds. Why don't you try and talk to Bob? So I don't think we know anything about yeah, I was Bob. Gonna say they, they don't know we, I think, I think we Bob. mentioned him, didn't we? But they don't know anything. Oh, they wouldn't Bob. know enough, right. Mm. Like, Bob, you thing might is, have, Bob like, doesn't know we, them. We met a contact, but that's like about it. Sure, oh, true. we did mention him because we said he was... Mm. Scrupulous and well, awful thing. Although, <laughs> might inspire yeah, weird. Really lots of reasons to not go and find Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it may inspire weird in an attempt to branch out from his usual methods um, or Nick's wise methods. What he may start approaching boys? shady characters. Okay. I would advise it. Yeah. To go to a shady part of Daza and go. Because, you know, I imagine. Back in when Nick's five was on Akaton, he ran with a crew where somebody else was the face doing this stuff. And it and probably makes sense that you ran mechanic. probably closer, if not out of Hive Market, but probably that area of like Akaton, probably. Yeah. Like for, or at yeah. least that's definitely where you just sold stuff and made money and chop chopped your way to. Yeah. To Quick cut to uh, Nick's wife's child, uh, Android childhood. Mm -hmm. Spent hot wiring ships and nicking them. Actually, just like the one reused footage from like episode one of Star Wars, and it's just uh, scenes of Anakin, but they've like really badly photoshopped over like a robot kid. Yeah, <laughs> Grievous really badly photoshopped Grievous over Anakin. <laughs> That's the story we all want. Uh, yes, actually, <laughs> That's the story you're telling. <laughs> the story we deserve. Yeah, because I mean, let's face it, Grievous, weird, not a million miles away, except. All of the details, so yeah. For now, oh. I'm working on it. Let's try to get full lightsabers, okay? <laughs> Please uh, run. <laughs> it's not that difficult, <laughs> right? We're in the, probably the right place for it. <laughs> but yeah, so what is the goal? 
right? Talk to me through it. So you want to go look for shady people, right? For what? What do you want to find? We want to ask them if they've been doing any business deals with these people. Yeah. Pay someone that knows people. I think, I don't think we'd manage to figure out exactly how this shady stuff works. Right, okay. He knows it's possible. And he knows none of the other details. Yeah, so that's that's the thing I'm saying, right? So for something uh, to work, right? So for anything to yes. work, you've got a result at the end, right? Okay. Yeah. And then we've got the goal in mind, right? And then we've got the method in the middle. Yes. And the process. Yes. So here so the goal is. The goal find is. The, yep. Find the blonde lady, or there we go. So you're looking okay. for the blonde lady. Yes. 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 Okay, like looking oh, for the blonde, like the blonde lady. Oof. Or, what was the rest of it? Was there more to that? Or Edgar. Or Edgar, right? Yeah. And, it, I mean, I suppose the result would be just to get a location for them, or do you want to get word to them, or like what What was the what's the, the dream result here? Um, To get in front of them. Okay. Be like, hey, hey, here we are. So confront them. Right, okay. And then panic about what we're confronting them over later. Okay, yep, that's yeah. that, that's a separate goal, don't worry. So I'm only interested in this one for now. Uh all right, okay, method and process. Shady people. Shady people who I guess drink um, we just <laughs> drink. They'll have expensive tastes in booze. Mm. Um and cigars. Um Yeah, I guess we'd be kinda of looking for shady people that we would you know think that Edgar would be willing to deal with but then that said if he'd be willing to deal he was willing to deal with us and that's kind of that kind of opens up the whole <laughs> the whole planet as an option doesn't it um. uh, I mean yeah right so here's the thing right he's around the street he's wandered by some little places I mm -hmm. He's have spent so many hours outside. Obviously, your armor levels are like what somewhere around the level eight mark, right? Aren't they? Something like that. Something mm -hmm. like that. What level is your actual armor? Who wants level eight? Yeah. I can afford my level eight or nine armor or whatever it was. So probably like seven. Okay. Hang on. My character sheet's broken. I can't. Because as so long as it's above one, you are doing okay. Um, Seven sounds about right because he's had had like the highest level armor for the longest time, really. The refracto suit. Yeah, the tin foil suit. Mm -hmm. Got us an answer yet, Zig? Uh, oh, my character sheet's still not loading up properly. Aha, there we go. Roll twenty hates me recently. Um, mm. It's actually six. But, yeah, uh, that's fine. Really? So yeah, six is more than one. But it gives oh. you a, a plus plus seven. Six seven. times more than one. It just means that's that like these are about a day through your suit's ability to support you. So that's all. Outside. Plenty of time. Yeah. So you've got some time to play with. Obviously, the problem is though that the these are limited with how close to the center of the city you can go. Because if you think of it like a big circle, the centre mm. is the bad place that would melt you, and the outsides yeah. are safer. Um, your suits can't passively protect you against the stuff closer to the centre. Um, you need to do more active things to start protecting yourselves the closer to the centre you want to go. But uh, as people out in the street, what is the... Uh, how are you going to attempt to get in touch with somebody shady? There isn't just a shady notice board, sadly. Keep in mind that Zora used their ability to be a celebrity to get contacts rolling. Yeah. So what are you doing to get into the same crowds, as it were? Walk into the noodle shop again and go, where can I buy drugs? Or... <laughs> I love it, man. Or... Just do that, man. Just do that, um, man. Oh, Don't order them. That's um, a perfect uh, idea. <laughs> um, it's like, oh, well, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, like, if you look at, you know, old mafiosos, they're all, you know, they go to confession and stuff. 
So. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a yeah. church somewhere where all the shady people. We um, we see you for shady. as a priest, a Catholic priest. Um, yep. Based Catholic. Okay. So yeah, <sighs> uh, I, I walk around and I open my little um, confession stand um, and be like, you know, free confessions for the for the less than um, honourable and for the less than unshaded. Yes. This is actually the you know, admittedly this is the perfect place to try this because if I mean, you like, let's your own like... idiotic drive in religion, it's gonna work. Yeah, everyone else seems here. to be doing it. Yeah. I say go for it. So, but maybe also get him to contact his old crew. Sweet. Yeah, although I mean, they're not yeah, around that. this town. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. The main but issue. You might know someone who is. Yeah. But I know also... someone paying for the internet. Yeah, so he would need to pay um, for the internet, and then he would need to announce his new identity, right, as well. Yeah. Because he's kind of went through a witness my protection. Com and just say that he's using my call. No, because to get in touch with his old people, he'd need to say, I'm next five, by the way. Hey, cool, how's it going? Right. Yeah. yeah. He wants to deal with the registry office. It's <laughs> really awesome. <laughs> and he's also got a moral issue against paying for the internet. Mm -hmm. So at some point he might try to hack into mm -hmm. Wi-Fi. But... So yeah. Just walk okay. into someone's house, steal their ethernet port. <laughs> Can I do that? Can I Just bring keep myself house? online? Or just... I, I was just trying to get myself online without paying. Or, you know, download the what the MyBT app when you walk past somebody's house with the, the same router as you, you automatically connect to the, the Wi Fi. What? That's, a th that's horrifying. Yeah, that's a thing that is horrifying, yeah. It's, it's garbage. Uh, anyway, besides that, the. Hmm. It's quite a bust up. Let's see. I think the best way to proceed, because that is definitely something you can try, 100%, Alex. The. Um, Attempting to just hack internet access, yes. Yeah. Um, but you'll need to find an access point because if you don't have login details, you can't log in. So you need an access point to get you logged in, right? Does the noodle bar have one? Probably not. The noodle bar probably uh. does actually have one for itself, though, right? But it's not. It's, not like, a it's like a noodle stall outside, as opposed to a yeah. like a place. You could try and look for like an indoor ET place and surreptitiously try it that way if you wanted. Let's try that. And I want Zig to create a distraction. Well, let's have that in, in character then, as you're both standing around having locked out, or bummed out. Yeah. I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? What's We've the, kind of run into the like opposite of locked out. Is... Yeah, what's the opposite of locked out? Down on our lock. No, uh, there, there's uh, like a something uh, out, right? Struck out, that's it. You struck, struck out, out at uh, the last uh, middle bar. Um, you know that the only way to get more info would be to kind of venture further to the centre and you don't want to do that so yeah maybe we have the scene open up where you suggest that to Zig I think it's time to go online Zig but... oh, okay I think Zig would like fumble for his like comm to, to try and figure out how to connect to the internet we need to get access to online <laughs> oh um, hi well, we either have to pay to sign up, or we can go and try to uh, log ourselves in somewhere else. That sounds like the next, the 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 weird that 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 I that I that I that I know and love. Uh, I might need you to cause a distraction because I'm not the most naturally st stealthy. Mm, I think Zig would kind of like look off into the distance and go. Okay, yeah, I I have an idea. Let's 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 do it. Where where do we where do you just tell me when and I will I will go. Uh, I look for somewhere that looks likely, and uh, some... give me some kind of finding the place role. Then and we'll see how long it takes you to find this suitable victim. This week, coach. Sure, coach obviously I'm helping him a little bit. I mean, if you are, then it's real culture also. Cool. Culture. Badoof. Because I think you get the plus one or two, or whatever the hell the bonus is. Plus two. Can't remember. And I'll 
wait for Weird's roll. Yep. My sheet is taking a while to load. It's not just me. It's me. all the nerds playing their Monday games. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, it's a pain trial playing on Saturday. I had some difficulties in a my Friday game. My version of like my browser for Roll Twenty, not my recorded screen one, was playing up. I I kept having to refresh it constantly. So it's at twenty now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Cool. So yeah, it probably just means it takes another couple hours of wandering to find somewhere that isn't just like a pop up stand, right? I am um, somewhere with a bit of shielding as well. So people can yep. actually like sit in and, you know, be a bit more Take comfy. the helmet off. Yeah. So it's probably at the... Maybe by this point, because it's probably been a good few hours, as I said, you've been wandering. So maybe you've done like... He's at the opposite side of the disc, as it were. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's maybe just like a landing... Like a set of landing pads at that side, and it's like shielded cantinas and stuff for people that are new to Daza. So it's probably the slightly more expensive side of Daza, because um, obviously mm. I assume he's parked at the cheap side. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, he's at that side, and yeah, you can head inside. We head in, and I try to look for the terminal as quickly as possible. Yeah, do you have a perception check? The CV eyes. Oh yeah, so we looky look. Um, a looky roll. A look. <laughs> A blokey. Yeah. yeah, so you spot the best seat, obviously, um, for it. It's obviously got that kind of, you know, these are only for laptops and or, you know, whatever sockets on the wall. Uh, and then, yeah, you can head up to, to that particular booth. It's one of those order at the table things. So the actual table itself is the ordering menu screen thing. Yeah. Yep. Uh and it's like, okay, Zig, what do you plan on doing? I'm going to preach. Okay. That's not what I expected, but... Go nuts, kid. And yeah, you can take off, like, your, like, he's walked through, like, a decontamination type door yep. to get in here, so you can strip off, and you probably have to just sit down at the booth and stuff. Yeah, um, I imagine I do. Yeah. They don't design the booth for Like, the, there is definitely, like, room and stuff, but it's probably super uncomfortable to cram the armour into it anyway. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, this place could feed show bad and stuff, so, like, they are large creatures, so... You could fit, it's just probably inconvenient. Wouldn't be comfortable, yeah. Yeah, and plus it's, it's kind of customary that people would, like, get changed out of their their armor and shit like that at the door way kind of like kind of the cloak room if you will yep that's cool so I jump out the power armor yep uh, what was Zig taking Zig? a couple of minutes yeah Zig Zig come like takes off his like all of his, his hat and his, you know um, his armor yeah his mm -hmm. armor yeah yes. and just follow suit cool so <laughs> you sit down obviously get the menu up are you ordering stuff or are you just going to get stuck into this fucking ceremony what's the plan um, if Nyx doesn't order anything then Zig won't um... yeah I'm not spending any money that was the whole point of this yeah <laughs> so if you spend double the amount that it would have cost to get online <laughs> to get online it's a matter free. of principle <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes principles are expensive this is true. This is true. Yep, so we're waiting on you, buddy. And then yeah, um if like Zig would kind of wait for the for for the nod. Mm, he's nodded he's away. Distracting. Yeah, Zig would stand up on the table and unleash his starlight form. So okay, yeah. I uh, roll just um, a D twenty for me. Sure. So uh, yeah, the the entire like place is probably quite a busy little place. Um, uh huh. Yeah, they're all looking at you and your table now. So you've done the exact opposite, I guess, in the sense that. No. Oh. Yeah, now now more people are looking at you guys. Scott, here now, Sig. Do you 
it's fine. I think Ziggler kind of like dramatically kind of step down from the table and like walk into the center of the of the, the sort of establishment, trying to take as like many eyes with him as possible. And he would start reciting the rough approximation of like a three-hour lecture that he had um, way back when that just kind of stuck with him. And maybe like his first like full lecture of the sun where, you know, it opens with them. Um... From before we crawled upon the lands of the planets, there was one entity that was constant. This entity was the warmth, the heat, the glorious rays of our sun. And then he would like just carry on walking up to like the back of the the eatery and keep rambling and then start um, talking just about how we should all take moments to appreciate how the sun is the giver of life and without it we should we would be nothing more than non-existent which in in my eyes is actually quite awful and then he would like go from like being this like dramatic you know like basically mimicking the the lecture to just going into Zig talking about the sun at like the, the far end of the and caffeine going. And then, you know, it's just so amazing that that just the, the brightness and the warmth can just kind of uh, just bring out the best in people, you know? And then like point at someone and be like, you, you were having an awful day. And then the sun came out and it just lifted all the troubles away. Uh, yeah, and he just keeps going on and on and on. And on, and on. Like that. And hopefully he doesn't get arrested. <laughs> so. It bugs me that the disguise skill is specific to, like, changing appearance to blend in. Instead of changing appearance or blending in or deceiving others. Because really... You're trying to disguise weird, right? It's like a misdirect. Yeah. Um, you just need, you just, I mean... Where's, where's the subterfuge? Yeah, right? The, the, it's I mean, Duggery. technically Starlight Form, you know, I mean, it, it is a combat thing, but we do give him the benefit of concealment. He is fucking glowing. Yeah. I'm going so bright that people can't see. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm trying to work out, like... Also, for some reason, it's disappeared from my character sheet, so I can't post it, so I've had to... What about some sort of contested role or something, like... Well, I'm trying to work out... How what stealthy... What, what is he trying to do? Alex of... has been versus how shiny... I think, I think, um... But that all depends on, like, Alex's difficulties will depend on Zig's successes, right? Yeah. Because if nobody's so paying I attention, think... they're going to look at like weird and be like, "With the fuck's this dude you're with me? Right? Um, but I'm trying to look at what, what, is, what else is sleight of hand cover? Because disguise doesn't work based on its terrible wording, which is an oversight in my opinion, because this would be why I have a disguise specific skill. It's really specific. Surely it would just be covered under bluff. But um, Okay, so let's look up sleight of hand and see what we get. Slight of hand. What's covered in that? Perfect. You can use sleight of hand to entertain an audience as if you were earning a living. Oh, oh yes. Of course. Uh, the sort of oh, nice. Sleight of hand does essentially. It's That's just, yeah. perfect. There we go. I, I think this is just some sort of demagoguery role. Yeah, it really is. Like demagoguery is not a skill, sadly, that uh, the game this has. This is not a profession, physic. Um, I know. It's okay. Profession priest. <laughs> I mean, well, do you have anything in your array of theme? Right? Does your theme cover any of this shit as well? Remember? Uh, oh, that's a good point. Actually, let me get my theme notes. Which yeah, I really wish it was an option under disguise, right? Like to like misdirect the situation. 
since it's based See, on prison. Yeah, that, that is sleight of hand, though. That's exactly what sleight of hand does. It's misdirection. So. But I think they mean misdirection with actually sleight of hand. This is just literally demagoguery, right? Where's so, the coin? Here it is! Let's see. What was this bluff cover? Solar know. Disciple, let's have a look. Because bluff would be my go-to for this, but... Bloof. 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 With your Medicini. Diversion um, is literally covered in bluff. It's the first thing. So yeah. As a move action, you can use bluff to create diversion. And it's opposed by sense yes. motive. It's literally there. Huh. So yeah, bluff is the god skill of this game. Bluff is the god skill. Right, give me a bluff. Do you want a bluff? Bluff. Bluff me. Bluff. I apologize in advance. But ah. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. This is very bad. Well, without any modifiers, I think you can tell how bad it is so far. I'm gonna die. Punch someone! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a space biker bar. Although it should have been. Um, but there. Oh, biker oh. Mice from Akaton. Yeah, Biker Mice <laughs> from Akaton. <laughs> That's our new game, guys. Just so you know, we're all gonna play as Soki Bikers. <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> That and then the goblins one. I think, I think, like, I think, like, I think, like ones like knows. that. You know, maybe, maybe, like, he does have like, the attention of a, like the majority of the bar, and then like he kind of just kind of it's runs out of things canteen. to say. Yeah. The canteen. I mean, bar yeah. The bar teen, um, and kind of runs out of things to say, and probably just kind of looks around and gets really <laughs> nervous and just shouts, "Sorry, weird." Yeah, <laughs> and I think um, most people are just trying to shield their eyes and kind of looking over at weird, being like. What, what is this? You know, that kind of look of, why is there a small glowing thing? We're trying to just have a meal and a drink or a, a read in quiet. It's like a truck stop, right? It's essentially what it is. It's like a roadside diner. And then, um, yeah. yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's not going so well. Um, however, yeah. weird, you're probably focused on other things. Yes, I'm going to try and sneak my way into the computer network. Mm. Watch my distraction talks to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I think uh, what happens is you're still busy trying to attempt the hack because you wouldn't exactly wait to see how well yeah. Slick's distraction went. You would just trust the distraction would work as he glows on top of the table you're trying to hack and then jumps down and walks off. Um, so, yeah. Can you give me a... Well, let's face it, it's probably going to be computers. Yes, they seem to be very computers wrong. Yeah. And if you want to do any kind of stealth, you can throw in some kind of stealth roll as well if you wanted. But yeah. Do we get computers? It's not a bad computer roll, yeah. I can't see, it's taking a year to load. Ten. Oh, it's not responding. Nope. 1270 nymph. Mm -hmm. 1270 nymph, indeed. 20 nymphs. Mm. 20 nymphs, yes. <laughs> 20 nymphs. Uh, indeed. wonder if this will actually load for me. You don't happen to have like some like, steam or something running in the background, shooking up all the, the bandwidth, do you? Let me have a look and see. Just in case it's doing its sneaky downloads that it does. Go away, Skype. <laughs> it's always you? Skype, actually, to be honest. Skype just opens now, it's like a fucking eats. virus. <laughs> Yes. The virus. We'll have that virus. Oh, the virus. 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 Um, virus. <laughs> but yeah, so... Why won't it work? I cannot give you a stealth roll. Uh, I mean, I could give me a stealth oh. roll from you, I guess. Is, is it that you stealthy? Could. We couldn't see it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh. 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 Does anybody else have one? Because I don't have one. I don't have one. Not seeing anything there. So stealthy. I still see the no, 29 no, no, counters, no, no, no. but I see no other number of Jeez. Uh, just, just... Oh, oh no, Chrome's just dying. Chrome is dying. This is fun content. That's okay. My friend again was a, a mini disaster this way as well, don't worry. I, yeah. I can roll stealth for you if you wish, unless you got on a roll. Uh, no, no. 
Ooh, ooh, that's not good. It's always snipping till the result if you've got one on your screen. I do not have one on my screen, but now the entire roll 20 fits in the space of a matchstick. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried um, clicking on it and then holding control and then pressing zero? Uh, no, no. This is, this is a range of other issues. Okay. I'm zooming issue. Uh, this is. I just won't do it stealthy. I'll do it fast, not stealthy. Sure. Let's go with that. Yeah. yeah. Fast, not stealthy. Let's get this awful situation out the way as quickly as possible. Yes. In no, both it's, senses. It's, it's going to derail the whole game. You know that. It's fine. Um, so. <laughs> it's the week for it. Yeah, I think. Based on the, the speed of the roll that you're doing, you. You've got a couple of options, right? For you, weird. Mm hmm. As you access the mainframe, it asks for a password. The administration password's there. You have the option to blitz past the password. However, by doing that, it'll create an alert. The only other option would be to input a proxy password, which you don't have, nor the time to generate. Right? Yep. Next part, right? So I'm going to assume you're going to blitz past it, because who wouldn't? Right? Yep. Right. You then need to attach this to an account. So you would need to attach their internet access to an account elsewhere where you want it to go, such as your com. Mm -hmm. That would have your com address on it, which you could spoof if you had the time. Or Zig's Would com. it be likely? I was going to say, would it be likely that he knows Zig's com of like probably? Like, Let's say that. Yes, yes, probably. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but. Either way, it's still likely to... I mean, let's face it, you probably downloaded 6.com from your com, so it had the same software. Which means you're still going to need that com to activate or access the internet regardless, which means it'd be trackable. Yeah, temporarily, but then I'll be able to bin it. Which exactly. Realistically, is how 6.com works. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just use 6.com for this. Okay. Punch his numbers in. Cool. And hope that we've got a couple of. So as um, Weird is shouted across the uh, cantina, and other people are just grumbling at Weird as well, uh, Zig, your calm buzzes. I think Zig would kind of. I think just you would just kind of look at it it's too physically. Bright. No. <laughs> you would just go, uh, Captain? Now it's too bright, as in you can't see your calm because you're glowing. Yeah, that's why he says captain, because every time it, it, it buzzes in the past, he usually just assumes it's the captain. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's still buzzing. Um, it's buzzing uh, again. More buzzing. Uh, Zig stops glowing. Yep. It's, um, he looks at his calm. Just emails about the, day, kind of the daily reporting of the, the cantina. You're now like the traffic filter, so hmm. enjoy your calm getting backed up with loads of useless data. That's what I keep I around think, for. I think Zig like starts like trying to like read them individually and then realizes it's futile like after like the first like five or six. Mm -hmm. Um There's also like, like oh. murmurings of how you know, how dare this happen here. They people pay good money for a quiet, you know, meal, blah blah blah. Just grumpy like cantina people. That's where I will jump up and go, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. Jump in my armor and try and drag Zig away quickly. So the attention is on that and not whatever alert will pop up on their screen. Yeah, like the fact that like, your menu table is on its fucking bio screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yep. think like as, as Zig's getting like dragged away, he'll just be like, remember, just take a moment. Appreciate. There's a sci-fi swearing in the nature of fuck off. Throwing back to you. Frack off. <laughs> we don't want that. Um, well, I think that went rather well. Such a fracas. Um, Frack off, chama. But yeah, so Zig's just swiping through a bunch of space emails um, on his com, and he's leave the place suited up. 
Well, that could have gone much worse. I agree. It could have gone a little better. Um, I think it might still be worse, don't worry. Uh, maybe you should practice what? Uh, I was just going to say, maybe, maybe you should practice that more often. The whole uh, jumping up and giving speeches. Mm. It's just, uh, uh, you know, my my old tutors made it look quite easy. I just assumed I'd be able to do it without, like, actually trying it. The follow of you. I missed that, sorry. I said the folly of youth. <laughs> Isn't it weird younger than Zig? Like... Yeah, technically. I mean, yeah, but you know, it's it's all about experience, isn't it? Sure. Um, he has some experience. So what's the plan now, boys? I'm going to Google where to find shady people in Daza. Google, sorry. <laughs> you could just take Zig's calm. Uh, yep, take Zig's calm and go on. Actually, I don't know if this this sort of thing where there'd be a, a Danza sub sped it. And, uh, yeah, post looking for someone willing to pay money. We're not, but. So, uh-huh. I think this will need some kind of. Again, I wish there was an investigate skill. God, that'd be glorious. Um,. What do we have in the nature of investigation skills? Let's see. Um, I mean, the one tied to investigation is uh, sense motive, so. Yeah. It's really absolute garbage. But why don't you give me a. This cultural diplomacy, maybe? So it's not diplomacy. Although, even though there might be a paragraph in the book somewhere telling me it is. But I think it's probably somewhere between using computers and sense motive together, right? Okay. Because you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to use the computer skill to navigate to the right places, and you're going to use sense motive to work out where the right places would be for the intention behind certain things you're reading, right? On things like Daza, Reddit, boards. I guess. So, yeah. I suppose sense motive's fine on its own, if you wanted. Um. I could go there. I'm trying. <laughs> you may have to roll this for me. It's okay, just let me know. Bro. I'm just gonna we try and kill everything. Okay. This work. No. No, it won't as soon as I click on it. I hit Okay, well, just well, we've got some uh, particular technical issues in the background. I'll take this moment and opportunity to say to everyone, uh, yeah, like and subscribe to our channel, please. Uh, we, we have a Patreon as well, if people want to help sponsor the madness and in general just give me money, that would be great. Um, or not, like, I'm open to that. If people want to learn how to DM or GM, whatever. Uh, different rates for both, uh, based on lawsuits. And, yeah, ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. Dingle the dangle. Mm-hmm. Ding the dong. <laughs> Want me to roll it for you, Alex? That may be necessary. I'd force closed chrome. It's so, okay. I'll what get that code just now. You should be more gentle with chrome. Oh. I like Good how fun. Colin said that. Then. What love... the fuck? Sorry, I think my mouse did a weird thing. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You should <laughs> just your wording, and then your disconnect was perfectly timed. To be fair. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. Uh, I. I know. I know. Um. I. Yeah. You know. I, I sometimes have that weird double click problem. Mhm. It just happened there. So. Yeah. That's fine. So we have um, we have the role. You're not going to be thrilled. To oh, be no. oh, that is less oh, is than ideal. Yeah, it's a six. I mean, if you if you look at it upside down, it's like still pretty bad. It's mm, true. It's better. <laughs> it's be- it's it's not worse. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So yeah, sense motive six. Uh, yeah. So I think you spend some time looking through what you can. Obviously, being aware that everything you access will be trackable through the IP you're kind of stealing, and then. Yeah, I think for the most part you just don't have any no one's being overtly shady, right? That's the problem. You've got nothing to go on. Nothing is obviously this way to illegal guns. Um, yeah. So the the internet's not going to be the way to solve that problem unfortunately. I, I was lied to all my childhood. Yeah, I am. Um, I suppose the thing that maybe crosses Weird's mind is you could put up an ad, illegal guns wanted instead of you know. <laughs> so that that is something that crosses your mind, but that's just even more attention and a literally an arrow pointing to you. So yeah. Or if we put up a uh, lost nebulous creature, answers to the name Edgar. <laughs> Reward offered. I mean, you could you could try that if you wanted. You could put pictures of Edgar yes. up around the place and say there's a, a reward for information about him or some shit like that. Uh, I was just say lost, mm. lost friend, lost, lost son, lost, lost connection. <laughs> That's very apt for you just now, isn't it? Uh -huh. Lost son of the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's put a picture up of him. <laughs> It'll probably get his attention sooner. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Have true. you seen this man? If so. Right, so. I don't have an issue with you being able to find a picture of Edgar on the space internet if you, like you've, you've hacked Aspis before you tried to, so. Yes. I feel that can still be yeah. lingering around your fucking calm device. Like a selfie of Zig and Edgar in the in the In the vault. <laughs> 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 no, but you definitely could have um, like like an employee ID pictures and shit like that for Aspis when Allison Nix Five did in the diner, right? Yeah. So here's his name, here's his picture, here's his national insurance <laughs> number. Please tell us if you find him. But like, yeah, what is the message word for word you're putting on the uh, Oof. the posters? I want that typed either Discord or Rule Twenty. I don't care where, but I need to have a note of it. Do you have any input in this account? <laughs> Does MD? Because hey. it doesn't need to be just used to. You are all players, so yeah. I don't mind if you outsource it to the other two. Something like the idea is at least funny, so <laughs> I'm here mm. for it. And it's not the worst idea, right? When in doubt, trying to get someone's attention, you know they're in a city, just plaster the yeah. city full of their face. And be like, hey, buddy. What Come. about... Oh. Shit, it's gone. <laughs> Wait. Do I ask us of any interests here? Um... It's a interesting cultural question. Yes, it's something that Isn't a person might want to roll. Yeah, to a roll, I can answer that. Maybe a bit more for you. Um, well, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know about this question. Yeah. Well, or Lyco doesn't rather. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really mind if you're on a roll on it, and I can answer you, and then somehow through the wonders of meta, right? But then, really, it should be one of them that rolls. Yes. Mostly, it probably should be. Next five, really. Weird. <gasps> no, really, it should be next five because of his history. Or not yeah. <laughs> you got out of that one. <laughs> Just. <laughs> we are on to you. <laughs> um. God, it's so bad. <laughs> um. Yeah. This is a. Uh... So, yeah. Missing persons. Edgar Hedger. If found, <laughs> please return to Wig. Sad, this okay cartoon. Do we have any rays on this? Anyone? Like. 
visitor seeking entity <laughs> enter to the name Edgar, like spin noodles vaping and sells arms to both sides of interstellar conflicts, <laughs> dislikes a radiated drow, report offered That's for their word. information yeah right. <laughs> for information leading to his whereabouts. Information on his whereabouts. Of or on uh, or, or leading to his um Whereabouts Capture? rewarded <laughs> <laughs> my, see, my concern for like going information regarding his whereabouts. Well, if you've got if suggestions, like, guys, so like obviously like Nico and we, Colin, you can we, follow. Ask, yeah. What I mean by that is if, type. Don't just speak to me. But Calum, you carry on. Sorry, speaking. Yeah, I was going to say my, my 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 concern is if we if we go right, we want information on this person. I feel like you know, Akaton's the kind of place where people will be like, well, uh, sure, I, mean, I don't know if yeah. I want to shop in, like some guy and then be like that guy who gets done in for shopping in the the, the weird kind of business void demon man. They it's probably depend. wouldn't know that. Yeah, I was gonna say it fair. just depends yeah, know, what Edgar's done on the planet, that, right? But... It depends what reputation he has here, if any. Right? Yeah. Um which we don't know at all. Mm. But Why at the same time around? I feel like that's exactly what um what Weird would say, so but they have been asking around. That's the thing. They went to loads of different little bars all along the outskirts of the cities. Um, yeah, asking, have you seen this particular guy? They're not just sort of like asking prominent people or uh, information brokers. Going, you heard of this Edgar character? I heard he was in town. You know, how, how do we find information brokers? Uh, not really our strong suit. Run around. Uh, I, I tried that. It's <laughs> the noodles. Yeah, I, I have ideas. Um, <laughs> It's that meme with the butterflies, like, are you an information broker and it's a noodle guy? Are you a headset? Some of the churches are you headset? <laughs> so, yeah, like, you could go down the information broker thing, but again, those are slightly shadier people and you did fail miserably at sourcing that. So you, uh, you could, seriously, I think wait, wait, your, your but approach. You, but you could know that you've got internet access. Speak to the other two. Mm -hmm. They are now accessible. Well, that's admitting defeat. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think maybe there's it's a middle ground. Teamwork. Uh, Look, you're talking to the the geniuses that created the conspiracy Craig device. Yeah, this is true. That's true. <laughs> I know. I, I feel like maybe we reached this point in that exact process as well. So it suddenly yeah. dawned on me that you have the fucking designer of the conspiracy creep device with the other team. Like, <laughs> oh my really god. upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tinfoil balloon backpack bullshit. <laughs> uh, it's fucking brilliant, man. Hashtag tinfoil stuff. Off by some dragons. Yep, tinfoil <laughs> balloon. Backpack bullshit. <clears throat> so uh -huh. yeah, what is the plan uh, for this? Because I don't mind if you just want to just like blanket cover. See, like what you did with the verses with the posters. You can just walk around and like blanket override places um, until they get automatically refreshed. Looking for Edgar stuff. Um, I feel like that's well within your wheelhouse. So. Considering it wasn't really rolled uh, on yeah. on verses, I feel like it's easier here. Um, but besides that, like, yeah, what's the what the shiz? What the That's my advance on the message. Uh, that's the one I want to put across all of the noodle bar tables. Mm -mm. I'm assuming you put Ziggs com. Is what I'm assuming yes. you put down. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's the, the the thoughts on that for an everyone decision? Is there any advances on that, or are we happy because it is really Alex's play here? But going you once. Know, it says play, and I'd go with it. God bless him. <laughs> yeah. Which God are we going with today? Uh, one or one of, one of them. Okay. Yeah, the, the big one. Desna. Ever, we'll be. go with Desna for the... Uh, oh. Not Saren Ray, but the... Uh, Why not? I mean, because it's always Saren Ray with you. And, um, 
Desna because of the dreams thing, right? And this is really pushing the hope button. Um, yeah, okay. So, gonna give me a... And I can do this if need be. A roll. And we'll see how well this diffuses. What roll is this gonna be? It'll probably be computers, just let's face it. To throw everywhere. Yeah. The only thing I can roll. <laughs> the one button. It's still visible. Are you able to roll or do you want me to roll it? It looks like I might be able to roll. No, I've reached you, the top. You probably want to roll it so the, the fails are your faults too. Instead of them being my faults. <laughs> 34. There we go. It's everywhere. Cool. I pay no attention to the roll in front of the curtain. Uh. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so like you and Zig wander around, just start blanket swiping these posters up everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's going to take a while, obviously, but yeah, if you don't want to call the other team members for help, 100% this will be the job. So, meanwhile, <laughs> we zoom away out there and land all the way back into the corridor between the hangar and the big warehouse where you two are following a skittermander yep. into the hangar where your shuttle is. Um, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I would kind of turn to uh, a star Craig. Well, he's a, he's away uh, from so like yeah. the. Let me doodle it for you, right? That's I'm imagining he's like waddling full so pelt. If this was the hangar, right, with the shuttle in it, and there was like <laughs> a corridor, and then there was a big warehouse. User here, and he has already ran through that door. I, I would turn to the to, to Ico then. I'd like, do you think he actually got in touch with the ship? Should we Wait, remind him I, I mean, to get uh, to the ship? Yes, yes. Also, you didn't technically ask him to. Well, uh, I didn't miss my chair. How could I miss my <laughs> chair? That's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I mentioned something about it to, to CC, so I, I'll probably... You know, or something to that effect. To happen. Like, yeah, we, well, I mean, we said as much, but we didn't really, we didn't really ask him to do it as such. So I guess we, uh, <sighs> I guess we need to be really explicit asking things because, like, I feel like he maybe needs help uh, staying on focus. I would. I would nod. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I'll ask him as soon as we get in the ship. Maybe he can do it from the ship. Uh, yeah, you do that. Scatterman does a hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. Um, and I suppose we'll probably be sort of... But remember, you can't do it from your ship, that was the whole point. One. Oh right, do it from the ship. So we're gonna need to get him to do it. From Remember, you needed like you just needed like a big antenna rig. To, yeah. To broadcast off planet. Yeah, I just thought he might have some sort of means to. Some sweet means. Well, maybe he could patch us into something. I mean, maybe, right? I'll ask him though. Well, because we'll we'll approach the hangar, you know, because we were speaking there. That'll have taken us through the corridor. Yeah, and I think by the time you get to like the corridor door, like you you. The, the door whooshes open and the little scattermander is like half climbing up the front of the shuttle it's on like the equivalent of the bonnet as it's like slowly but kind of really poorly struggling to like get purchase on the glass screen of the cockpit uh so Craig we were uh we were hoping you might be able to help us connect with our and you hear over the other channoids call me CC CC, if you prefer. Uh, yeah, uh, we were, were hoping maybe we were looking for a way to to connect with our other ship, the final hour, without drawing too much attention to the calm. Um, could you assist us with that? Is that something you'd be able to do? Oh, we're trying not to draw attention to ourselves. That's what we're doing. 
that <laughs> you just realised. <laughs> Yeah. Sending up flare guns from Daza. Um, <laughs> Listen, yeah. I have no control over what these guys are doing. True. And, uh, yeah, I think as you say that, like the scout commander kind of like, slides down the glass screen of the shuttle and like falls to the ground of the hangar. But before he falls, the little mechanical legs spring out and catch him. Um, and he just kind of swings there. And retract and he then unceremoniously dumps himself on the ground he kind of like stands up and then like fixes his backpack on it and it just starts going <laughs> and then just like goes to climb oh. back up onto the shuttle again um I uh I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Can I? <laughs> um. Can, can I roll <laughs> sense motive to see if I get a vague idea of what that meant <laughs> from body language? Um. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> you know what? This isn't going to do anything either way. But even so, I want to do it. Yeah, because it would be something Lyco would do instinctively anyway, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. You... When you've been talking to somebody to try and get information from them in the past, you're very aware of when people seem distracted, agitated, perhaps nervous, even. Um, this seems more to be unable to focus, not so much worry. There's no form of like apprehension or anything. It's more like hyper child than anything right. else. Um from that. You also get the impression maybe they just didn't hear you. Yeah. Like his attention is too much elsewhere. Um that's fair. That fits with the impression that I personally have been getting from him. <laughs> Um, I will, uh, try again. Let's see, how do, how should I go about that? Any suggestions of things that might help focus his attention? Yeah, Captain. Uh, <laughs> hmm. uh, <laughs> what good for children. I mean, it's probably not a child, to be fair. So, I mean, I don't know. See, I didn't, I didn't get if he actually done. I guess he didn't do anything. Other than, I don't know how to deal with this. Okay, um, I guess what Mike was asking you, though, know, right? Like, yeah. Mike was literally saying, "How do you deal with this, Captain? Your your people have experience with skittermenders." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I said. <laughs> we uh, decided to not be with them. <laughs> uh, right, I'll. Uh, CC. I Sorry. Uh, so. We might need your help in getting in touch with the ship. Is that possible? I'm yes. here over the tannoid. All things are possible. Why did they call you the Abyss? Um. Uh. uh you know, like. It's, it's really long and drawn out. But. Basically, like the theatrics, you know, and. Staring into the Abyss, and. You know, get it, right? Also, you have the little moat floating around you, don't you? Always, unless yeah. it's active. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll point at it and say, also, he, he does, like, I, I, I'll also stuff. I, I, I'll, I'll turn on my armour. I, I'll, I'll, I'll activate my armours. Okay, yeah. Um, so we get our Sailor Vesk transformation sequence. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think Zora doing that it's amazing. Ching! Then, um, <laughs> with your Doshko. What V V yeah. sign. Like fucking yeah. <laughs> Canon and um Yeah. I think as you do that, like you hear a like some high pitched like you know, yelping from the little Skirtamander as it like quickly jumps off the bonnet of the shuttle and then like runs at you really, really fast, dragging this uh, backpack with it. Um, and it just starts climbing your leg. Uh, 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 I'm used to this. Uh, just, uh, like, uh, tries and sinks his late. teeth into like the armor. You what? Sorry. Tries to sink its teeth into the armor. I'll go, go for it. Uh, that's that all bad for the teeth. What do you do? Um, uh, so it's easy. The communication. There's like. You get in touch with the ship. Do you have the com frequency for the ship? Uh, I would not. I would give them the com frequency for the ship. I mean, do you I have send the com it. details for the final hour? I mean, must. Yeah, I, I liked it, it right? The I, I liked my, my com to the final hour, right? So, I don't know, I'm trying to think back to you and Finn's conversations about linking stuff, and you did Because I had to, to, to do like, the autopilot and stuff with the shuttle, because I don't know how to fly shuttle, so I had to... Did like, you give like, into that? I, I, I was trying to remember that. I, was I think like, I did, because I couldn't do anything otherwise. Yeah, I think you did too. Yeah, if you did, then yeah, you'll have it. Uh, right, so... You want to give that to this? Do you want to give that yeah, to this? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Okay, so you're going to send the final hour protocols to CC. Cool. What would you like to see? Comes over to Tanoid. Um. All the while, this thing's still trying to bite into your leg, which obviously it's not <laughs> getting anywhere. Um, tell Alice that it's the captain and... Who's Alice? Uh, Alice is one of our crew. She's an AI, you'd like her. It's very interesting. There's like no response. Um, um tell Alice that it's the captain and, uh, um, she should get the final hour to Akaton and meet us there. Um, because we're on Akaton, it's a long story. <laughs> we can meet her in orbit, that's probably for the best, right? I, I would not, yeah. Um, tell her she'll get a communicate. Well, tell her to communicate with us when she's in orbit. And. We'll get in touch with uh, via the name of the, the, the liner. The Azure Flare. The Azure yeah, Flare. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yep. Yeah. That's it with Flare. <laughs> it is. We'll get in touch with uh, for us. I missed any details that might make her I not think... paranoid. No, I think that's The probably... secret password is this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Anything else, or is that the is that the complete message? That's, that, that, that would be the message. Seems about right. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. I think you just get the the word "complete" message oh, cool. sent. Fantastic. Uh, shall we? Where's it going again? It's a hive marker. <laughs> Yeah. That, yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, uh, the hive marker. Yeah. So what do you do? Yeah. Just head into the shuttle. Head into the shuttle. Yep. It's obviously maybe a bit awkward for Zora, but yeah. Just. It's fine. What's going to do? Done. I'll uh, take up the driver's seat again. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup, yup. 
what's he like as he's... Li I'm, I'm sort of imagining I'm going to take a penalty to fucking fly the thing because he's trying to eat the keyboard. Or he's like a cat that sees you typing and sits in it. No, he's, <laughs> he's still hugging the leg of uh, Zora because of the armor. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, he's not leaving it. Okay. Yeah, like still still hugging Zora's leg. Still trying to like bite it. I'm just walking along with it attached to my leg. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Everything's How fine. How does he <laughs> while he's doing that? Is it like a psychic thing? Um, technology. I don't know. Is he psychic? Is he, is he psychic? <laughs> I think it just stops and looks at you briefly, like tilts its head to this side and just goes. Uh, good conversation. And it just like climbs up <laughs> on like your shoulder, and just like starts like moving between the two shoulders. I don't know why, but I think it's it. No, it uh, <laughs> Craig a boy's name for them too. I don't. Know. Um, you know what? That's something I worry about later. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, the hive market, <laughs> and then I will, um, because I feel like you're gonna ask me this. Roll piloting. I mean, yeah, why not? What you mean you were gonna let me go? We've no rolling. <laughs> I've cursed myself. Cursed to roll. I did press it. It's being slow. It's okay, we'll wait. You know, just like hit previous course. You know, like. <laughs> Nah, that'd be daft. Right, I'm gonna hit that again. Well, that was the thing. If this so, comes through multiple times. So, oh, thirteen to thirteen. Um, so, as you go to start plotting the route to Hive Market, the question is, you weren't going to go back and pick people up. I think that was mentioned briefly last time. Um, that you could have went back and picked folk up at Daza to move everybody over to Hive Market, but you. I, do I think, think we could rendezvous. I think I could like send them some cash, right? There's like wire well, transfer. If this we take route. them over the now, then they're kind of just going to be fucking about in Hive Market while I go and speak to Ramasetha. I mean, yeah, but I could literally, that's exactly what like Weird wants to do, though. Uh, that's kind of true. Oh, okay. yeah, no, and that's fear that I mean that would probably occur to me. Um, yeah. Okay. Open it up to the team. Yeah, what do we think team, as a team? We could get in touch with them. Action. We could get in touch with them. I could send them money and then they could get transporters, right? And then... And... Yeah. That'd be the environmentally friendly thing to do. And that way we could rendezvous. And... It lets them do the thing and then get transport. Idea. Not a bad idea at all. Because we're gonna have to hang about until the queen is done being mm -hmm. irradiated. Saves us like as much as it pains me to say that. <laughs> yep, yep. So yeah, while you're doing that as well, like I think after uh, like CC climbs up on the back of Zora, and then it just kind of like forward rolls off of Zora's like shoulders. Um, the like legs pop back out and catch it in the middle of the the shuttlecraft. And it just clacks its way over to like the the pilot seat next to to Lyco. And it just kinda like hovers itself near the controls and then it just puts like the middle of its like so its right arms. It's at the left of you. And it puts like the middle of its arms on like your forearm. And it just looks at you. And then I see, see. It, it looks at the uh, the keyboard and it just goes <laughs> And just stares at you. Uh, translation? And then it just kind of jumps on the controls and all of its hands go on the keyboard. And it just starts, like, accessing files and operating systems. Uh. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let, let, let's give him a minute to do his thing. Yeah. Like, it's, it's kind of done in seconds. And it just kind of, like, you know, probably walks over you to jump down the side of you and then go back to exploring bits of the uh, the shuttle. Seems then uh, very taken by the big crate in the back of the shuttle. <laughs> so it walks up to the crate and it just starts like slowly climbing up the side of it. Do I notice anything in particular that it's done with the keyboard? Am I getting like computers? a uh, Computers. 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 That was actually a competent troll. Yeah. It would be the equivalent of linking its com. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. 
That's it. That's what it looked like. So, yeah, probably just think, yeah, good idea. Yep. Um, yeah, just looked like it was kind of doing it through, like, root access instead of, uh, you know, just swiping credentials over. But, um, yeah. What is the vote, then? We'll do that before we take a break, shall we? What's the plan? Is it get in touch with the crew, send them money, get them uh. to arrange transport to Hive Market, while you fly to Hive Market as well? Plan. That makes sense, yeah. It yeah. cuts around with the fucking about. Yeah. It's uh... yeah. much we love fucking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's evidently right. If anything actually it gives you a chance to fuck about more. Is it being well, shooting? to fuck about in a less toxic environment. Yeah. So we're not just going to be arriving and going like, into the shuttle, lads, let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> we should do anything. Like, into the lad shovel. Yeah, so let's have that scene then, right? Who is it that initiates the comms? Is it Lyco or is it Zora? Uh, I'll patch up through because I mean, I'm the one with the money, right? Yeah, you're the cap. I'll probably just say perhaps we should get in touch with a crew and um, they'll be getting their rendezvous to save us a You hear through the shuttle's comms, there are more crew members. Who's on the crew? Um, Zig. We've got to pick up Zig, Weird, and um, Zanida. Uh, Zanida. Zanida, yeah. I was trying to remember the name. Yeah. It's an Ida. Yeah. Yeah. I can pronounce it. It's great. <laughs> uh, they're 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 an interesting and uh, varied bunch. Like no response. Just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was there. the entire <laughs> comment. <laughs> cool. So, Michael, what's the plan then? Because Zara's uh, precious. I will buzz the comms for the captain. Say. Comms are open. Or, well, I'll buzz it and then, of course, it potentially could not ring because maybe we're not. Who are you phoning? Zig or Nix? Or weird, should I say? <laughs> probably is Nix5 on your phone still, let's face it. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. I'm, prob <laughs> I'm phoning weird, though. Okay. So, yeah, that weird. After um, several hours of wandering around the city, postering the place, yeah, your comm eventually goes. It's like yours, a... not uh, Zig's, obviously. Yep. Uh, it's the captain. Oh, captain. Um, um, just to tell you that we're at a little bit of a detour. We yes. ended up meeting Craig. Um, How is he? Guy. Um, you, you'll meet him soon. He's with us. Uh, well, Are you serious? <laughs> I would Did I hear Craig? nod and you would hear the yeah, neck Craig. stretching so you know it's a nod. Like, <laughs> 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 like a little holographic desk face stretches, yeah. <laughs> Nods. You're the creak of my suit. Dick, <laughs> uh, we get to meet Craig. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Oh my. Oh my goodness. But I'm not. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I don't. <laughs> Just get the notebook out, and we'll show him what our ideas. Um, right, I, oh, no, I think I left it on the ship. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's what we're going. Ah, go uh, uh, the ship can come to us. Wait, that's why we're meeting him. Yes, um, it is. No, All the right. other ship. Oh, the wrong ship. We need to go to Versys. Like, no. Shut <laughs> Captain, we need to go to Versys. <laughs> Like at any point, um, Zora or Lyco could jump in with the information you've in, already contacted the ship to in come due, to In due time, uh, the ship's coming. We got in touch Which with one? the ship. Well, wait, we sent a message to the ship, uh, the final level. He did may have picked up the 11th hour. Um, the 11th hour Alice is, on the final is where all the stuff is. Uh, only yeah. only we'll, we'll Alice go, we'll, we'll go. is on the... Uh, yeah. My 2,000 flares and our little notepad is... <laughs> it's probably in the car hole or the 11th hour. Yeah. yeah, one of the two. We need to go back to Velocities for Ivan anyway. But anyway, to the, to the point. To the point. Composure, people. Uh, you hear over the comms, who is Ivan? Um, uh, an 
assembly is. What is the eleventh hour? Um, other ship. We could take Craig with us. Will Craig want to come with us? Uh, no, that's just when, he, when he hears <laughs> even just like a fraction of our ideas. Yes, but it's much more impressive with the diagrams. Mm -hmm. True. But maybe we can get him to hang about long enough. I think at this point, he's, like the people in the shuttle can hear the creaking of the crate lid, like being like pried open by like the mechanical legs from the backpack of CC as it's trying to get in the big crate at the back of the ship. Um, um, I think we should uh, get on the move. Yeah, yes, yes, to the point. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to Hive Market straight away. I'll send you some money, and when you're ready, you can get transport to us there. Sounds good? Yeah, we've only got a few more streets to do. Uh, good. And Wait, I streets them. to do? Did I, what? Right, we'll fill you in later. I'll I'll send you some I'll send you some cash. Thank you, Captain. That's appreciated. I would creak. You feel the creak of this. <laughs> <laughs> the creak of the nod. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and boodoo. Yes. How much are you sending him? Uh, I'll send him like a thousand. Seems right, right? Seems a thousand should do it, right? Is that enough to buy me armor? Put <laughs> <laughs> your fucking <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can fucking walk it. You can walk the journey. He's giving you taxi money, not armor <laughs> money. Um, yeah. Anything else, Nicole? Uh, no, no, no. no I, I, I booted. Okay. I done my, I done my, my usual dropped ending. There's no over and out for me. Let's just start booting. <laughs> okay. I think then what we have is does. Weird and Zig have anything else they want to do in Daza before booking transport to Hive Market is my question. Because so far there's been a couple of inquiries on the, the numbers like how the hell did you hack the poster board outside? I paid good money for that ad space. It's not been a month already. Blah blah blah. Bunch of complaints about like the advertisement like bullshit about you stealing a lot of the yeah. ad space. But also a couple of them are like well what's the reward? You know? Like, how much is this worth? Like, would I get in trouble if I said anything? You know, there's been, like, a bunch of, like, calls that went nowhere, right? Um, either people trying to get you to tell them how they can answer your questions better, or people complaining you've stole their ad space they paid for. That's entirely reasonable. Yeah, that makes sense, especially if it's been a few hours now, and people have noticed, look how their noodle stands, yeah. and it's just got Edgar's face everywhere. <laughs> that way, right, that's not noodles. So, yeah... Um, but yeah, what he's doing, like, is there anything specific you want to do? Because I wouldn't mind having you guys getting on transport before break. Checking that the Queen's not dead. Yeah, well, but keep in mind that you've got oh, the... I suppose getting, like, do we, ha do we have, like, an ETA on, like... No, you've got yeah, no ETA on her, no. but you do have your comm, like, Weird's comms are linked to the, the clinic, so... So we'll get, like, updated Yeah, as... like, if anything's important. Like, you've got that. I um, think, also, I think technically, if you mentioned like... Nazma Keklik to Lyco, Lyco would have contact details for Nazma Keklik, even though it's no longer yeah. going to Absalom, right? Yeah, uh, mate. It'd probably be, like, space diverted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think maybe Zig would have, like, said that, like, before getting on the thing, and, oh, maybe we need to, like, check on the, like, Queen or whatever, and then maybe... Yeah, well, if you uh, want to have checked weird. in, like, maybe there's just a, an update saying there is no yeah. update yet. It's still yeah. the early processes of the treatment, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Well, Ma then Marty then does say to you, um, if Zig can be put on the line, because it's probably weird that it phoned, let's face it. Yeah. yeah. Zig's comment's busy anyway. Yeah. So he's like, uh, yeah, can we... It's dealing with the traffic. Are, are you still with your Soki colleague, Marty says? Always. If you, I mean, it's kind of unorthodox, but can you can you put, can you you put put them on to the, the line? Why is that unorthodox? Because it, it's normally we'd have to like, contact them directly based on their their communication details they supplied initially for any kind of medical information relevant to the patients. I'm sure you're used to dealing with people's legal guardians. Huh? Are are you are you, yeah. are, are you? Oh geez, like are you are you the legal guardian of Zig? Not technically. Uh, here's Zig. <laughs> <laughs> 
Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think there's just like a uh, like hesitation noise coming from like the calm, <laughs> kind of hoping you're gonna fill the silence. But yeah, do you or do you leave it? I'd just say not technically, and then pass it over to Zig. Yeah, so you hear just this kind of awkward. Uh, do you say anything when you get handed um, the call? Oh. Yeah. oh, oh, hi, hi, is it? Mr. Zig. Yes, yes, it's 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 me, Zig. I think you've written here, the burning sun. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, um, Mr. Sun. Burning, burning um, sun. Yes. Um, no, 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 just burning sun. That'll do. That's that's fine. No, Mister, it's fine. Okay. Um, it's it's about the blood. Oh yes. And then the camera cuts from there. And it zooms way back to use to like on the space comms just before he's board the transport to you know now boarding for Hive Market. Oh God, why are you heading to Hive Market? Close brackets. And then um, <laughs> it zooms up to a rooftop with an armored figure standing. The light hits the armor; it's got a slightly blue tint to it, and they just raise a big huge rifle pointed at Weird and Zig and uh -huh. uh, we'd go to break there uh. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, right guys let me stop our wonderful recording I'll see you all soon bye bye bye, bye. bye.